All right, so let's go ahead and get into some thin cases. We are talking about the Peel Super Thin MagSafe case. So this is gonna be for my minimalists out there who doesn't like a bunch of bulk on their cases on their phone. This is gonna be for you, all right? So let's go ahead and check it out. Now I went over on Amazon and bought this because you guys loved this last year. I thought this was one of the best thin cases, so I had to run it back for the 14 Pro Max. Now, I don't know if that rhymed right there, but I stay giving y'all some bars when it comes to these, these cases. So nothing really, nothing too crazy when it comes to the PO case, you know, kind of standard packaging, nice little packaging with a little insert. All right, I see you, PO. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I did go with the purple version. Now I should have went and grabbed my girl's Deep Purple 14 Pro Max so you can see what the vibes look like when it comes to the all purple, but I decided to switch it up. I'm always doing black, gray cases. Let me switch it up a little bit. So this is gonna be the PO Thin Mag Safe case. As you see, this kind of has a little hard plastic. You know, nothing too rigid, anything like that. So this is going to be the purple color. They have black. They also have a clear version. So you can get a few different colors, not a bunch. So they got those three, black, clear, and purple. So you're going to get this kind of matte purple on the back of it. Flip it over on the inside. Now, one thing I think they did differently than last year, I could be wrong, is with a thin case, they gave you a nice soft lining. Now that's something you normally don't get when it comes to thin cases. So peel, shout out to y'all, I can appreciate it. You get your peel branding right there and then you get your cutouts for everything. This is a thin case so you don't have buttons. You're gonna have cutouts for the buttons on the bottom. That's the type of cutouts that you're vibing with. But well, we can go ahead and put it on the phone and we'll be able to see it a little bit more. But go ahead and grab it and scale it over here. Let's see how much this case weighs. This is the thing, this is the thin case crew. So it's not gonna weigh a bunch. So Dropping it down on the scale, we are looking at 28 grams for the Peel Thin MagSafe case. So do with that as you will, as they say. So let's go ahead and grab the 14 Pro Max. Let's pop it in. Make sure it's in there good. And let's go ahead and take a look around this case. Just put lotion on so it's a little ashy up here. Got a little, little grease up here, but this is going to be it, man. This is going to be the Deep Purple. I think they call it Deep Purple. Peel Thin Mag Safe Case for the 14 Pro Max. I really love that, and I wish I had that purple so I could show it to you. Probably would be absolute fire when we are talking about this combination. So let's go ahead and step it on for the top. It is going to be completely closed. No thing there. On the right side, you're going to get a power button. Now, the thing that I don't really like about this is it's recessed down in there, so you kind of have to get your finger in there to press it. Now, Peel, what I would have loved to seen is a little thin strip with some air, air slits on it to make it press a little bit better because you got to gotta get your hand in that little, 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 little crease right there and then press it. Could be a little bit aggravating. I'm not 100% sure about that right there. Flipping it over on the back, you see you get your cutout for your lightning and you get your speaker little dots. So you get your accurate speaker dots. That I really like when it comes to the speakers. Same thing with the vol volume up and down. You can get to it, but like I said, it's flush right there. I mean, I like the way it looks design-wise, but functionality, it could be a little bit funky. So you kind of have to press your hand in there and then get to the mute toggle switch. Although it's very small, it is a shallow button, so you can still get to it easy. So normally, if it was a little bit deeper, that would be a little bit aggravating, but since it's such a shallow button, you can get to it easy. Now, flipping it over on the back, you see even with, even with it being a thin case, you do get some lips around the camera, and me looking at it, it's pretty good, all right? I can actually say for a 14 Pro Max case, that's pretty good. Sit it down on the table. You don't got to worry about that, but she going to rock, all right? She going to rock back and forth like a seesaw, just about. So that's what you can expect to have camera protection and a thin case. Now, let's take a look at the lay on tear protection. Of course, I'm rocking that tempered glass screen protector, and with that, you don't get any type of lips. So let's go ahead and put it out there straight right now. This is going to be a thin case. You drop it, you might be going to Apple Care. You know what I mean? It's just, this is meant for very light drops, you know, just oops real quick at home but if you're out partying you get a little while and you need a little bit more protection this ain't gonna be for you all right everybody knows who a thin case per market is for and it may not be for you so it doesn't have any lip on it even when you set it down on his face i don't even want to do this for this long because i'm not sure if it's sitting on the actual timber glass screen protector so we're going to just say be careful you may can set it down on the face to be really careful. I'm pretty sure it has a little bit of a lip to protect it, just a tad bit. Now, how does it fit on the phone? This thing fits crazy tight, all right? Now, you can't even pry it off from this top corner here. You can't do it. You're gonna have to go from the bottoms because the bottoms has these little relief cuts. Y'all know what I'm talking about when it comes to thin cases. So that's how you're gonna be able to get the case off. It kind of just poops up here. <laughs> when I say poops up here, it just slides and doesn't make any type of noise, but Neither one of these top corners are moving. Like, neither one of those are moving. It is up there very, very tight. So the fit 
is just absolute, absolute crazy. Like you pulling up, nothing moves. Nothing moves when it comes to this thin case. Everything is very tight. Everything is very precise. I would like to see it kind of have a little bit more of a snap on the bottom because I feel like it's so tight. It just eases up here, but it doesn't give you any type of feedback to let you know that it's up there. But I mean, it's up there and it works. Yeah, I guess it's fine. You know, I mean, I got my little man right there when he was a baby. <laughs> so it's cool. Would like for it to give me a little snap or something at the bottom, all right? Now, how does it feel in your hands? It's a thin case. It's going to keep things very thin, but this case is slippery, all right? There is no grip. There is no nothing on this case. It's really keeping it to your hands. So be easy when you're using this because it is a little bit slippery. I can say that. So that's how I feel about that. Just needs a little bit more grip. Keep things thin, and it will show a little bit of fingerprints. Not a ton like a lot of other cases out there, but it does show a few fingerprints, especially, I guess it really depends on what color that you're going to rock with. It definitely does show a few fingerprints right there. And let's go ahead and check out that MagSafe strength. So this is a thin case. Let's see what that PO MagSafe strength is working with. Dropping that on MagSafe it works standard you know what i mean it has a decently strong magsafe for this type of case we know thinner cases you kind of lack a little bit when it comes to the magsafe strength this one right here is not too bad i feel like it finds it very confident it's no it's not going to try to pick this base up but it has a confident ability to find it snap on it and that's it and i can appreciate that it wants to kind of pick it up you can hear it just but it's not going to pick it up. But I do feel it has, it has good confidence when it comes to that. Bringing over these accessories over here, Apple MagSafe battery pack, it works just fine. Even with that slick type surface, it's not sliding off. Even if me shaking it like a madman, you're not going to be doing that. But it's not sliding off there. Popping this Apple wallet up here, it works just fine. And it stays up there pretty decently well because, you know, weird services, slick services and different things like that, it, it will have a tendency to slip off. Not this. It's actually staying up there very well. Anchor 622, if you want to go a little bit bigger, it's staying up there as well. Shaking this. So it has decent strength for a thin case. So good job, Peel. Give you that decent mag safe for the strength. Now, like I said, this thing is on Amazon. It is going to run you... <sighs> Y'all see the price, man. Uh, 50 bucks, all right? Should you buy this case for 50 bucks? That is an extreme stretch, in my opinion, because uh, I think you're just paying for the PO name. And if you want to say a thin case that I think you should go out there and get, I would say more so like the Rebel Flex or even the Taurus Thin Magnetic Slim. I, I did a video on that. I feel like that's one of the best slim cases. And I feel like it has, a, it has better buttons and different things like that. So... 50 bucks for this to be a thin case? I don't know, Peel. I think that's a major stretch. I, I, I don't think this case should be 50 bucks. And I feel like for $50, you can get a better case that is thin out there on the market. So, yeah, Bill, you might want to reevaluate your prices a little bit, man. 50 bucks for this is extremely high. I just don't know. I paid 50 for you guys to review it. Peel didn't send this to me. I went out there and bought this for myself. But that was a stretch in its own to spend $50 on this thin case. I feel like there are better options out there in the market. But if you want to check it out, the links are down below. I feel like this can easily make my best thin cases video. It's just a little bit more on the pricey side. But if you want something a little bit more affordable, almost half the price is this. Like I stated to you, I think I did a video on the Taurus Slim Magnetic case. I will be sure to pop that video right here.